Hi, Billy Mays here for the Little Country Handy Pillow. Are you tired of sitting in limbo? Lost somewhere between planes of existence? Well, now there's a product that can help Will you- somebody shut his f***ing mouth? I can't take it anymore! The Psychic Fraud News. Here to break down the bullshit. You know, I really enjoy the fact that there are so many silly people out there. Silly, silly people. I'm not prepared to pursue my line of inquiry any further, as I think this is getting too silly. Quite agree, quite agree. Silly, silly, silly. Right. Get on with it. Get on with it! Who basically should probably know better. There was a particular coach driver. A person who drove a National Express coach and he was meant to be transporting children. And because he thought he had a premonition, a sense of something bad happening, that would happen if the kids got on, he said he couldn't take them. Rightfully, the company fired him because he was going by an irrational response to what? Something else irrational, some kind of sense, some kind of intuition, some kind of nonsense. No evidence, no proof, no way of showing it was genuine. Merely going, oh, I had a sense. I had a sense that something bad was going to happen. And of course, because of his unprofessional nature, he was fired. Thank goodness. But of course, mediums and psychics alike would defend him. They would say, well, it's better safe than sorry. In fact, one particular spirit medium has said just that. So... What are we meant to think of this? How are we meant to consider these things when they happen? I would say, leave your faith at home. If it's a genuine intuition, you should be able to change things, whether it's changing lane at the right time or whatever, and avoid the bad situation, rather than having an unprofessional moment at work where you go, oh no, I can't allow people onto my bus because there might be an accident. That is pathetic and childish, and utterly what we do not want within actual working roles in our society. Okay, you may have an intuition, you may think it's something psychic, but unless you have something more evidential, why should you get a, a free license to bullshit? I would say anyone trying to bring their own religious view, whether it is spiritualist, new age, psychic beliefs or relating phenomena or Christian views or Islamic views or whatever, leave your religion at the door. Exterminate all humans! Exterminate! Annihilate! Destroy! A woman called Gillian Lane has died. She was a psychic to the stars over in Los Angeles and apparently she predicted her own death. Apparently. Oh, we're meant to believe this because of, um, what now? Because there's meant to be something there, there's meant to be some kind of proof, apparently. Stories, allegory about a psychic who apparently did readings for Michael Jackson and various other celebrities, got something of a reputation, became psychic to the stars, perhaps the best psychic in Los Angeles, and she made a shitload of money off those celebrities. And she basically got a deadly condition. She was aware of the condition, and she thought she wasn't going to survive, and she was right. But because her profession was as a psychic, and her friends heard her saying, I'm not going to live through this, they put it together and made a prophecy, a prediction. If that's true, then relatives of mine who've gone into hospital knowing they're probably not going to come out were also apparently psychic. So are yours when you've had older relatives, younger relatives, people with any number of different conditions, serious conditions, and they know they're not going to survive. They know they might go into the anaesthetic, they might have an operation, but they're not going to wake up. Or they know with the condition they have, whether it's cancer, heart condition or whatever, that they're not going to survive. Were they all psychic too, by using their common sense? And of course, if the prediction had failed, it would have been forgotten. So obviously, it is utter nonsense and means nothing whatsoever. This is your nine o'clock alarm call! Well, that's 
what I call a dead parrot. The Russian authorities have shut down a fraudster gang. And what was this fraud gang doing? They were doing psychic stuff, oh yes. But not ordinary, standard, bog level like, okay, I'll do your reading and it won't cost you that much kind of bullshit. Instead, it was actually like, we can cure anything. Personal problems, family problems, friend problems, money problems, you name it, yeah, we can help you out. We can help you out plenty. And of course, they basically get people to give them a load of money. They do a little ritual, a little seance, to apparently cleanse their spirit. And people think, well, it must be real because I feel better. You know, placebo effect. And of course, the idea that, well, why would they do the ritual if they weren't genuine? I call this gullibility. You may call it ignorance. But in either case, there is a long history within Russia of mysticism, of magical thinking, wishful thinking, folklore going back centuries, indeed thousands of years, if you think about it, where people have assumed certain magical ideas are true. Obviously, it's false. And it's going to take a lot of effort for people to really learn how false it is. Maybe, over time, when people learn of this story and other relating stories where they have been caught, where they have been exposed, where they realise what cold reading is, what scams are, how they work, how the fraudsters operate, they might actually break away from that. And they won't be this psychic fraud industry we find all over the world. What do you think would be a fair test of a so-called psychic?